Hello friends, here we'll see how to send a PowerPoint file through Gmail. So here you can see I have opened a PowerPoint file in my PC. Well, uh, I'll have to just first of all save it. I've created this PowerPoint file. I'll just save it in my desktop. For example, I'll give a name test123. So the PowerPoint file has been saved in my desktop. So then what I need to do is I have to open my Gmail. I've already opened my Gmail. Well, uh, for you, if you have never logged in in your Gmail, then you have to log in in your Gmail in your desktop. So here, uh, once you have logged in, you can go to this icon or this button called Compose. So once you press Compose, this kind of window will come up. So here you can write the subject like uh, uh, PPT for your next class or something on your subject. Please find attached. Fine. So you write the subject here and here you have to write the gmail id or you have to write the email id of the person to whom you want to send this ppt so for example i will write my own email itself here showing that i have received that email as well you can uh, also add uh, uh, more emails if you want you can also go for cc bcc uh, as you want but uh, for this video i'll just send this to myself first of all so here the main or important thing is either you can go directly to your desktop and uh, and simply press click and drag here if you do that drop files here that is the easiest way to do so you can see it is getting attached so or else you can uh, see one attach file icon will be coming here just click here and it will lead you to your uh, browsing window of your uh, pc or your laptop and here you can uh, go search for your uh, for example this pc i want to go to desktop if you have your file in any of this drive you can click it and find your file as well but now uh, since i have uh, saved it in desktop i'll just press desktop and search for that file that is test one two three so if i double click here it will get loaded you can see it is almost 2 mb so it will take uh, some seconds to upload as well uh, based on your internet speed and once i do that i'm all ready now so i can simply click this send button so once i click send here you can see the file has been sent and as you can see a new mail has also come right away it didn't take even seconds to come to this mail so you can see the mail has come i'll if i just open click, double click this you can see the mail has come here as one attachment so since uh, both the files were same it has uh, only uh, sent like one attachment so you can see for receiving that file you can simply open it but if you double click it then it will open this viewing kind of window if you want to download that file simply click this download button the file will be downloaded to your pc right away so you can see the file has been downloaded and it will be downloaded in your download folder and you can simply show it in the folder you can press show it in the folder and once you do that you can cut and paste in some other field or uh, can cut and paste in desktop itself for example i'll uh, create a new folder here and in that folder i'll just paste it you can see the test 123 has been downloaded so friends this is how you can uh, send a ppt file you can create you can save and you can send a ppt file to anybody your boss your friends or to anybody who is having an email id and uh, i've also told you how to receive that mail and download it into your own pc or laptop so friends that's it i hope you found this video useful if you like this video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel infotainment for getting more of such technical videos so till then keep watching infotainment see you again see you soon thank you